Thank you very much. Before we move on, if Senator Bennett is, uh, is ready, I'm going to defer to Senator Bennett just so that it makes sense that we do states in the, uh, adjacent to each other. And, and then I will recognize Senator Mullen for his witness and, and, and Senator Fisher for her. So um, without further ado, Senator Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm, that's very kind of you. And uh, I know the schedule is moving around here, but I'm, I'm very glad I had the opportunity to be here for Chairman Hart's testimony, I think. Uh, and I'm deeply, deeply grateful that he's here today. He's served on the U on Ute Council since 95. He's been chairman for 14 years. His leadership has meant a lot, not just to the Ute Mountain Ute, but to all of Colorado and, and to the West. And the work that he's done on water and on public lands has, has been um, uh, incredibly important. And he's done it all while he's been a cattle rancher at the same time. So I just want to say I've had the benefit of his leadership. And today the country has the benefit of his leadership. Today only half of households on Native American reservations have clean water or adequate sanitation. And I know the chairman knows these issues well. Tribal households are nearly 20 times more likely than white households to lack indoor plumbing. And chairman Hart has told me that it is customary in the White Mesa community to bring bottled water as a greeting gift because water contamination remains a profound challenge. And, and Mr. Chair, the status quo is completely unacceptable to me, and it should be unacceptable to every member of the United States Senate. No family in this country should have to raise their children without clean water. No member of a tribe should have to accept circumstances none of us would accept for our own family. And this hardship is particularly egregious because it is a direct consequence of the federal government's failure to honor promises and treaties made to tribes across this land. I think that if any of us faced the challenges that the tribal leaders are facing today and that their membership is facing today when it comes to clean water for their families and for their kids, none of us would stay here in Washington, D.C. We would all go home to make sure that, that that clean water was being provided. And that's why this leadership is here today. A few years ago, we took big steps forward to secure clean water for tribes in the bipartisan infrastructure law, including by providing the Indian Health Service with $3.5 billion for their, san for their sanitation deficiency list and the Bureau of Reclamation with $1 billion for rural water supply uh, for rural water supply projects. But the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe and other tribes have struggled to access this funding because their projects require planning and other pre-construction work before being considered shovel-ready by the government. The Tribal Access to Clean Water Act addresses these challenges by authorizing critical technical assistance at the Indian Health Service, the Department of Agriculture, the Bureau of Reclamation for Tribes to receive support for project planning and design and take full advantage of bipartisan law funding. This bill would help the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe replace 15 miles of 30-year-old iron water, water lines, which service the growing Toyok community, but which regularly break. This bill is broadly supported across Native communities, and I've brought letters of support for more than 20 members of the Clean Water for All Coalition, including the Navajo Nation, National Congress of American Indians, uh, Vessel and Dig Deep. And I'd ask unanimous consent, Mr. Chairman, that we'd enter these into the record. Without objection. Mr. Chair, thank you. And just to close, when the federal government established reservations for uh, Native American tribes, it promised a pr permanent and livable homeland for those it had displaced from their ancestral land. When access to clean and safe water, a human right, is being denied, this promise clearly has been betrayed. This promise clearly has been denied. With this bill, we have an opportunity to ensure more Native communities have access to clean water the same way every senator does and every senator's family does. And I welcome the committee's feedback on how to improve this legislation so we can ensure Native Hawaiians and Alaska Natives and tribes across the country can access bipartisan infrastructure law funds to guarantee reliable access to clean water. And I hope that once you've had the opportunity to look at this bill, 
it will earn a strong bipartisan vote from this committee. And I thank you all for your leadership and for giving me the opportunity to be here today. Thank you very much, uh, Senator Bennett.